Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another went what's for dinner. If you're new, we'd love for you to subscribe, hit the post notification bell so you're notified every time that we post. Pay attention, please. And give us a like if you've been here before. Welcome back. So tonight for dinner, we're making the viral TikTok baked spaghetti. T-Money is going to cook the meat for me because I'm in the process of finishing my nails. So we have water um, going to come to a boil for the spaghetti. And then she's gonna do two pounds of ground turkey, two pounds of ground sausage, cook that up. And so when that's done, I will be back. All right, so the meat is done. I'm gonna add in this jar of fresh mushroom prego. And I've drained it. And I also have a can of mushrooms I'm gonna add. So while I'm waiting for my water to boil, I'm just gonna cover this and let it, oops, and let it simmer until I'm ready. When my pasta's done, I'm gonna start my uh, Alfredo sauce. All right, so now I'm gonna make a homemade Alfredo sauce. I don't have a recipe for this, but I can link an easy Alfredo sauce down below. I'll also try and find the TikTok where I saw this link that but I found a version of it on Pinterest, so I'll link that too. So I'll link everything. So I'm just gonna wait for my butter to melt, and then I'm gonna add in some of this minced garlic, and then some heavy cream, and let that thicken up. Once it's thickened, I'm gonna add in some Parmesan cheese. So I'll be back when my butter is done melting. All right, since my butter is almost melted, I'm gonna put in my garlic. I'm just gonna let that saute and become fragrant and not burn it. All right, so my garlic is nice and fragrant. My butter is melted. I'm gonna pour in some heavy whipping cream like I said, I'm not measuring. I'm just going, you know, play it by ear. I'm just going to let this cook until it gets um, nice and thick. I'm just going to use the whole cart. There's only a little bit left. <laughs> really? <laughs> My sister is talking mess. Anyways, I'll be back when this gets nice and thick, When right before I add the cheese. I'm going to put in Everywhere. some pepper. All right, so my Alfredo is nice and thick. I'm going to turn the heat off and add in my Parmesan cheese. Again, I'm not measuring. I'm just... That should be good. this get all nice and melty then I'm gonna add my spaghetti back in here and then we'll be ready to assemble <laughs> I'm also gonna taste this and see if it needs salt but I'll let y'all know when I come back all right so I have mixed in my noodles with my um, Alfredo sauce so the first thing that you do is you're gonna take your Alfredo noodles and put it in the bottom of your pan. And this Alfredo sauce is delicious. I had to add a little salt, but that little bit of salt set it off, you hear me? So I'm making two pans, because it usually takes us two pans for two meals. And everybody here likes spaghetti. So 
when you do that, then now you're gonna take your spaghetti sauce <coughs> and just pour it over the top. <coughs> And then this is gonna bake in an oven. I'm doing it on 400. Like I said, I'll try and find the TikTok in a recipe somewhere until the cheese is melty and bubbly. And I'm gonna put some cheese on top. I just have a bag of this Mexican cheese I get from Sam's. And you're just gonna layer the cheese on top. And then like I said, with my oven beeps, I'm gonna put this in the oven uncovered probably 20 minutes we'll see just till the cheese is ooey gooey and when it comes out i'll show you what it looks like all right so it is done it was in the oven for about 10 minutes because it was so hot the cheese had started to melt i put some parsley on it for a little razzle dazzle and we're having it with these breadsticks from great value which are really good so that's what we're having for dinner tonight and tomorrow and possibly the next day. So I will see y'all on Thursday. <laughs> tonight for dinner, we are having cowboy quesadillas. I've made this before, so I'll link the recipe and the video where I made it before. <coughs> this is just a couple pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs and some barbecue sauce. And this is like the cowboy caviar. So it has corn, black beans, jalapenos, onions, and for the sauce, it's like honey, lime, and olive oil. And we have it with some cheese, tortillas, and some sour cream. So I know this is not dinner related, but I wanted to show you one of the things I'm making for dessert for tomorrow. So I'm gonna be making some Christmas crack. The recipe would be down below. You need some saltine crackers, brown sugar, a cup of butter, vanilla, salt, and some chocolate chip cookies. So I think according to the recipe, I need to lay my cookies on the pan and then start this. So I'll show you what I do. Okay, right, so I have my foil lined pan. I need to spray it with some nonstick spray. And then you just line it with your saltine crackers. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be back. All right, so I'm done laying out my crackers. That took about a sleeve and a half of saltines. Now I'm gonna take you over to the stove. All right, so I have one cup of butter and one cup of sugar. And I just stir this until it dissolves. And then when it comes to boil, I let it boil for three to five minutes. So I'll be back. So we wanted this to come to a boil, so this is done. I'm about to take this off the heat and stir in my vanilla and pour it over my crackers. And then they go into a 400 degree oven for three minutes. supposed to spread it out so I'm just gonna do the best I can. The best you can. Yeah to the best of my ability. And this is hot so I'm trying not to touch it with my damn hands but my crackers have moved. Ooh, these nails come in handy. Mm -hmm. All right, so this just came out of the oven. These crackers are gonna piss me off. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute, then I'm gonna sprinkle my chocolate chips on top. And this goes back in the oven for 60 seconds. And then I'll show you what I do next. Back 
back in the oven for one minute. Okay, so this just came out for the second time. And you're just gonna spread your chocolate out. Oh, y'all can't even see I'm over here. <laughs> spread your chocolate out. I'll be back when I'm done. All right, so it's all spread out. Now I just wait for it to <laughs> cool. I might stick it outside because it's freezing out there. And then we break it into chunks. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. My Christmas crack is done. So I'm going to crack it. I had it outside on the deck probably for a half hour or so. You just peel it off of the foil. and break it in the chunks. So this is the final product, Christmas crack. All right, so we are back. We're having Pizza Man for dinner. It's a local yeah. spot that we used to frequent when me and Taylor were kids. And how far away do you think it is? 30 minutes away. So we made it a new tradition. I think it's the third or fourth year that we get it every Christmas Eve. So I'm gonna show you what we got. <laughs> they messed up our order. So this is, I think jalapeno poppers, which we did not order, but they gave it to us anyway. I wanna try them. And then I'll just do these boxes. Mm -hmm. They messed up on Taylor's order. She ordered a sausage and pepperoni and they just gave her cheese. So she got hers refixed or fixed. So we got Thank you. Elijah's, no, it's mom's. Okay, so my mom got wings with sweet and spicy sauce. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then, then Elijah got wings, but with ranch. Then they and messed then, up Mimi's order, and so they gave her a whole pizza. I ordered dollars. a personal pizza that looked like, oh, hang on, I'll show you. But it's supposed to be small, like but they gave me a full-size pizza. For the same price. So they wouldn't take it back. So like that. it's to look like that. yeah. that's what I have. And then we got <laughs> mozzarella <laughs> sticks with marinara sauce. Yeah, that's the that's the oh, well, this is the cheese pizza that messed up. See, that's what my pizza was supposed to look like. But we have an extra cheese pizza. My mom got an Asian chicken pizza. And that's what the personal pizza is supposed to look like. And then the kids got half cheese, half pepperoni pizza. And Tegan has already claimed some of my pizza. But that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Merry Christmas, it's Sunday for breakfast today. We're having eggnog French toast. I'll leave a link of a recipe down below. You can follow if you'd like. We have eggs, potatoes, sausage, juice, fruit and all the condiments and i'll see y'all later for what we have for dinner it's, it's dinner time and i had a bit of a catastrophe the pan of cheese enchiladas i dropped on the floor and it went everywhere so we only have one pan of chicken now and i'm very upset about it but i'm gonna make cheese enchiladas later on or probably sometime next month so to redeem myself but with chicken enchiladas it's yellow rice Cilantro Hi. lime rice, free fried beans, <laughs> black beans, tomatoes, olives, shredded lettuce, yeah. cholula and ranch, and sour cream. That's what we're having for dinner tonight to the desserts. I don't know if I showed y'all the desserts. I'll go over them quickly when we're ready for dessert. So there's the apple pie, ice cream, Christmas crack. Those are Christmas snickerdoodles. Those are sugar cookies. 
chocolate chip cookie crispy treats and so that is the end of the what's for dinner don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we will see y'all next week bye